Hi guys, welcome back and today we are going to start uh, the data processing technique and in that one we are going to learn how to clean your data set. So for that one we are using the Jupyter Notebook and we are importing the pandas library pandas as pd ok so this is successfully imported now the next task is we need to load our csv file that we need to be clean so let's create one variable data frame sorry df and uh, pd dot read csv there is a couple of option is also available as suppose example if you want to read from the excel file or json from html file you can choose your options according to that one so we are going to use the csv file and we need to define the file name here so file name is cupcake cupcake dot csv once you execute this command so this read csv will csv file will return as a object into the data frame okay so this object this variable become as a data frame once we execute this read csv file okay so whatever the data present into the csv file it will become as a in form of data frame okay so the file is loaded now let's print the data frame okay so we are able to see here <coughs> there are two columns okay and 204 and rows are there okay and two columns now if you want to see like I need to be see the top five rows okay so there's a method present into the data frame that is called head if you not pass any parameter here by default it will give you the five rows but if if you want to see like I need a 10 rows so you just pass the 10 as a parameter into the head method and it will give you the 10 rows okay now if you have requirement like I need to be uh, get the last five rows okay so there's another method to present into the data frame is tail it will give you the last five rows okay now next is like suppose i want to know like how many rows and how many columns present into the data frame so we have the method is df dot shape okay. so once you execute this attribute shape it will give you the information about how many rows and how many columns present in your data frame okay now let's come to the data cleaning part okay so we need to be know how many nulls values are present in our data set data frame so for that one df okay so let's print the df here okay we can able to see here there's a some null values and n there okay so how to remove this null values so we are going to see here so first we need to be check how many nulls values present in our cupcake column means overall our data frame so there's a one method is is null okay. so this null method will give you the information in terms of booleans if any value will be true means any value will be null it will give as a true otherwise it will return as a false so i want like i need a total sum how many null values are present in my data frame so what i will do here i will just call as a sum method here so it will saying here there's only two values present in my data frame who have the null values okay now the second important thing is when you're doing the data cleaning you must know what data types are using in your data frame means what data types are present in your data frame so for that one we have the method is data frame dot d type okay so this gives you the information about this is one column is represent as object and another column is represent as a float okay. now let's come to the uh, like this is have only two two columns let's take another data set that have the multiple columns so we will perform some operation on that one regarding to the data cleaning so now we are taking the data from the our uh, another csv file that is present in the some uh, remote location that is called your new airbnb okay so this information contain all the airbnb related data so let's load this information here okay so i'm getting some wrong information 
problem in the method name. Okay, read underscore CSV. Now this going to read the data from the network file that is in format of CSV. Okay, this is completely uh, loaded. Let's print the data frame. Now we are able to see there are many columns present in our data frame and some of the columns present null values. So now, now this is the task that we need to be remove some null values and in our data frame and need to be clean your data. So here around 48,000 rows are there and 16 columns are there. So there's a couple of method present for um, data cleaning. The first is drop column. There's some approaches are there that we are using to clean your data. So first is drop feature or we can say that drop column. Second approach that we are going to follow is drop row. And we also discuss what is suitable and what is not suitable. Third approach that we are going to follow that is uh, impute the data using mean, comma median, and some random value. Random value. Okay. Now next thing is uh, like we have the some method is fill forward and backward fill. Okay, so we will check this method also. Okay, so let's go to the our agenda like how to clean the data. The first approach that we are going to use is drop the column. So drop the column is not recommended because if you are going to delete the some column, so you are not get, you are not able to predict the proper information because some columns are very important, some columns are not important, but the columns or attribute gives some information that helps to predict the future value. But some columns are not important. Suppose example, uh, serial number, okay, like this is the some IDs are there, okay, this ID is important, but some this serial number is not important. So if you want to remove these things, you can remove, okay. Now, in uh, like suppose example, in our data frame, we are just for the testing purpose, we are going to remove this name, okay. Okay, sorry, host name. Okay, we are going to remove the host name. So what we will do here in data frame, we have the one method present is data frame is drop. And here we need to define your column name. Okay, so my column name that I'm going to delete is host name and okay, now what we are doing here we are just doing we are just removing the host column okay host name okay. now this once we call this a uh, drop method it will be written as a data frame okay so just create one more method is data equal to this one and execute this method okay so this method is properly executed sorry we missed one thing so here we need to define the axis Okay, so we here we are going to define axis. So axis means like suppose example, if you want to remove the row, so we can define zero. If you want to remove the column, so we are going to define as a one. Okay, so let's execute these things. Okay, we need to be define the column name proper. Okay, now we can see here once you print the data, we can't able to see the host name. Okay, so with the help of the drop, we can able to delete the column now the thing is that i don't want to create any new data frame i just want to reflect into the existing data frame so what we will do here instead of just creating the new variable what i will do here data frame dot drop and what i am doing here just provide the column name that i need to be delete so suppose example now i am going to delete this host id okay pass this host id and comma axis is equal to one okay then there is another parameter is present in the drop if you want to see how many parameters present so you just click shift and tab and you will get the all the details okay now 
we need to be in place there's a one parameter is here by default it is false once you true here okay define true so whatever the operation that we are performing in the drop so this operation will be directly affected to the data frame means whatever the we are doing here it is affecting to the data frame means there is no object will be created so just print the data frame here and we are able to see here the host side is also removed in from our data frame okay. so this is the method that we can able to clean our data but it is not recommended but it is it is usable when you know your data okay you have the understanding about your data this what is column we need to be removed and what need to be removed not need to be removed so let's go to the next approach the next approach is let's load the data again here we remove some data is there so let's need to be get the data okay so next approach is suppose i want to remove the only column so what we have our method is like let's take an as a variable here df dot drop na when you perform without any parameter here parameter here so by default it will be removes all the nn values okay null values okay and that is present in our rows it may be single it may be multiples okay so by default if any row contain any null value it will be remove that completely row so let's see here okay now before we have how many rows we have around 48000 we have the rows let's check how many rows are there after performing the drop in okay now we can see here that 38000 rows are there before it was the 48000 now is 38000 so around 10000 rows are removed okay this is a very crude operation uh, we cannot be performed because if we are uh, removing the large amount of data so it will be it will not our the prediction will not work as a perfectly so what we will do here it is also not recommended what we will do here we are performing some operation here so for example there's another method is here to remove this none value with have some default values so what we will do here data equal to df dot fill na okay. and i'm just setting as a zero so whenever we have the null okay na it will be set as a zero so let's see here so we can able to see here suppose example in this many rows we have zero null values so we can able to see the all null values will be replaced with zeros but this is also not a good approach because if you are defining all the values as a zero so you can't able to see what is the prediction it will be like an un unambiguous values okay it is unbiased we can say that one so we can able to perform what we will do here we are just going for some precise value like suppose example uh, in this column let's talk about this column okay so in this column we are going to perform some mean operation so whatever the like suppose example review per month we are taking this column and whatever the mean value here we are going to replace with null okay so let's find the mean value okay how to find mean value so data frame and we need to define the column name here dot mean and that mean value we are going to round off with two decimal place round with two decimal place okay now we are getting this mean value and this mean value we are going to with fill in okay so this will give a more appropriate uh, data here let's see okay so here the sum values are null and our mean value is 1.37 so whenever the null value are there it will be replaced with 1.37 there's another approach is like we can go for median this median is also there okay and same thing it will be replaced with median okay so whenever uh, the null value it will be replaced with median values okay now there's another approach that we have let's go to the 
approach the death is for um, fast forward and back forward fill forward or uh, fill backward okay so fill forward is let's see the our data frame first okay so in our fill forward suppose example this is my null value so whatever the value is above this value will be replaced with null values so 3 0.38 replaced with null means sorry none will replace with 0.38 and here some values suppose example 1.0 that will be replaced by sorry none value will be replaced by 1.10 let's see here so how we will do data equal to df will na and we need to define here a method the method name is fill forward So let's see here. Once we execute here, this is successfully executed. Let's print the data frame. Okay. So we are using the fill for means whatever the top value that will be replaced by null. So suppose example here 0 0.38. This is the null value. So 0 0.38 replaced with null. Okay. Let's see the back forward. So. here okay so back forward is going from the bottom whatever the bottom value it will not check it is null or it is empty whatever the value is present into the bottom it will replace with our null value so null replace with the null and here suppose example my bottom value is 4.65 and previously it was null so this null value replaced by this one so there is also another approach to fill the null values so this is the uh, some basic operation that we are going to perform into the data cleaning. This is the part one and part two we are going to uh, take one more. Uh, there's so many methods are there in the data cleaning. So we will cover that method also. And also we are going to cover the how to clean the categorical data. The categorical data means in terms of some boundary values. This the like the, suppose example room type this is a categorical data. So some bounded values so how to clean that data okay so we will cover this topic into the, our next session so thank you guys and this csv file that i am going to upload into the gitlab sorry github and that file will be available into the description section so thank you guys